the mock trial is going to be about the scope of judicial review for self-dealing transactions or whether the MFW decision should apply in Israel. Some of you may think that Zohar and I chose this topic because it has never been discussed in this conference before. Uh, well, you're wrong. Uh, we chose this topic for two reasons. One, because we believe it uh, continues to be an important question for Israeli corporate law. Second, although there are uh, various differences in both substance and procedure between Delaware law and Israeli corporate law, and if you want to read more about these differences, you're invited to read the article that Sharon Hannes and I wrote about the topic. Uh, although there are differences, we think that the fundamental question that underlies uh, this case is the same across jurisdiction. The fundamental question is actually an important one for corporate law. What's the role of courts uh, versus markets uh, in adjudicating or deciding corporate uh, transactions and decisions? Very briefly, I was asked to describe uh, the case. The case, so we chose a clean process case. It's not a freeze-out transaction. It's a case where a company, uh, Telecom LTD, is controlled by Dan Patrick, who owns 55% of the stock. This is a telecommunication company, and like many other telecommunication companies, it decides that it needs to buy um, content. So the boards decide that they need to buy a media company, it so happens that the controller, Patrick, owns one of the leading media companies in Israel. And it also happens that Patrick, who's known for his generosity and his willingness to help, says, you know what, I'll be willing to sell the company, my own precious media company. Uh, the board decides to appoint a special committee that can hire its own advisors. Uh, Patrick first asked for $400 million. The board pushes down the price to $350 million uh, and gets another condition, a due diligence con condition. This was actually a tribute to someone who's not here who once was very proud about the fact that he put into a going private freeze out uh, a fiduciary out clause and that was the sole achievement of his special committee. Uh, but that's for an another day. It, this, Transaction is submitted uh, to a shareholder vote. Under Israeli law, majority of minority shareholders must approve it. Uh, different proxy advisors express different opinions. Uh, Entropy, the Israeli proxy advisor, recommended its client to vote against uh, under the reasoning that the price was too low. And ISS, because the company is large and has uh, foreign institutional investors, advised its clients to support the transaction and the transaction was approved uh, by 70% of the disinterested shareholders. Nevertheless, uh, Ted Mirvis' client uh, decided to file a lawsuit challenging uh, the transaction. Uh, the case was argued at the economic division. The court at the economic division, after a limited hearing, decided not to certify the case as a derivative action. It held that the process uh, was uh, without flaws and thereby the business judgment rule should apply. And uh, now we have an appellate uh, uh, hearing. Uh, Ted Mervis from Wachtell Lipton uh, is going to represent uh, the appellants. I think it's a very uh, interesting experience for Ted because he, I'm not sure how often he represents plaintiffs in those type of cases. William Savitt, the co-chair of the litigation department at Wachtell, don't worry, we made sure that they have Chinese walls, and you know, we all know that Chinese walls are very effective. So, uh, Bill Savitt uh, will argue for uh, um, the respondents, and we've asked uh, our uh, lawyers to speak for 20 minutes each. Uh, we'll let uh, uh, our uh, distinguished panel of, jur of uh, judges uh, uh, keep the time. And we've also asked, we've also asked uh, uh, each one of the distinguished members of the panel to express their own uh, uh, opinion and not take sh a shortcut by just agreeing all to one unanimous uh, uh, decision. Uh, last thing before I leave, uh, Justice Ofer Groskop from the Israeli Supreme Court, uh, Justice calling uh, sites from the Delaware uh, Supreme Court, we're very honored to have you here. And uh, Justice Ruti Ronen from the uh, Economic Division of the Tel Aviv uh, District Court. 
Ted, the floor is yours.